There are families across this country that look just like any other family, but there's something different. A loved one who has made a commitment to defend the United States of America and our way of life. Nissan North America presents Designing Spaces Military Makeover. Brace yourself because here it comes. Hoorah! Time for us to show our appreciation and give back to those who have sacrificed. This is Designing Spaces Military Makeover, and it starts right now. Here we are in the home of Stephen Lunt and his little family. Now we sent them away on a little R&R &R and are doing some badly needed renovations from the overhead to the deck. Now first off, maybe we should see who Stephen is. I'm sure that would help. <laughs> Uh, I was born and raised in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, which is just a little town outside of Charleston. Went to high school, graduated, and joined the military. Stephen met Ashley at the San Diego airport while Ashley was traveling to a friend's baby shower. Stephen was on leave from Japan. He started talking to me and said something like, so you go to college or something like, something cheesy. Stephen joined the Marine Corps Special Operations Task Force and was first deployed to Fallujah, Iraq, before volunteering to go to the extremely dangerous and remote Herat province in Afghanistan. We had received a message from a team that was in distress. They were crossing a river that was deeper than usual. Having their ammunition-filled Humvee stuck in the river, the team called Stephen's unit for assistance. The game plan was to try to block the river um, with sandbags by hiring local nationals to come help us. One of the younger kids that was working for us um, used a pickaxe that was in his hand and struck me in the back of the head. Ashley receives a phone call from the commanding officer telling her about the incident. I was a wreck, of course, as to be expected, but when I got to hear his voice and hear him talk to me, it was a lot of reassurance. Eventually, Stephen recovers, and now it's time for us to give back and make over their townhouse in Somerville, South Carolina. Having a gun as part of your home defense is a right, but it is vitally important that gun safety rules are followed to the T. The gunny personally sat down with Kai Wagner of Glock. Kai, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. Normally, when the subject is guns and home defense, there's a bunch of old guys sitting around talking. What about the ladies? More and more women nowadays are embracing the idea of home defense. Tell me about it. Well, that's definitely true. We are seeing that more and more women are interested in both self-defense and home defense, but we're also seeing an, an overall rise in interest in general firearms, sometimes just for fun. You know, but it, on the topic of home defense, it's very important that anyone in the household is properly trained on firearm safety education. Glock actively works all year long with a lot of different partners in the community to raise public awareness for firearm safety education. We recently led a campaign called SAFE, which stands for Serious About Firearm Education. In this campaign, we asked folks to go on our site and to pledge their own commitment to personal gun safety and education. And we had a lot of partners in this. The Marietta Police Department was one of these fundamental partners. You know, I can't think of a better way to reach out to people uh, about gun safety. Now, you brought along a handgun. I did, this, this is our G19. This is our most popular handgun. And it's a, a lovely gun. Now, I know that every time we sell a Glock, we also give the person that buys the Glock a gun safety device, which is this right here. And it's so simple. You know, there's nothing, nothing complicated about gun safety. If the gun is not in use, you simply run the safety lock through the, through the gun so we, it totally disables that gun. Absolutely, you cannot shoot it at this point. No, it's, it's totally disabled. But if this is your gun and you have the key, it takes about two seconds and you're back in business. You can use this gun. If I didn't know anything about guns, how do I, how do I go about learning about the safety and uh, how to use this gun properly? 
Sure, there are lots of different ways. You can buy the gun first or you can buy the gun after taking courses. Now, these courses are readily available at a very reasonable fee at your local gun range and sometimes at your local dealers. And you can go to these ranges and you can learn all about firearm safety. You can learn how to shoot, how to hold a pistol and really become comfortable with your firearm. That's the second most important thing, safety number one and comfort and practice number two. Going to the range, it's great for practicing, but it's also very, very fun. It can be an enjoyable family experience or an awesome way to change up date night. As far as I'm concerned, the most important aspect of owning a firearm is knowing the safety rules and regulations. Well, how do you handle this gun safely? Rule number one is what? Rule number one is treat every firearm as if it is loaded. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, number two, what's number two? Number two is always be sure of your target. Okay, so you, if you've got a target out there and you're gonna shoot at that target, you wanna make sure that that target is absolutely safe. Correct, which brings us to number three, which is to make sure that when you're pointed at your target, to make sure that there isn't anything behind or beyond it that you don't intend to shoot. Yeah. Number four is keep your finger off the tr trigger until you're ready to shoot and you're exactly right. There you go. So simple. Okay, so I'm pretty safe with firearms. What if somebody uh, wants to buy a firearm for home defense and they have never owned a firearm before and they're, they need to learn? Where would, they, where would they go? To find out more about Glock pistols and more about gun safety and much, much more, you can go to Glock.com. I recommend clicking on the Glock University. You can get tips from the expert shooters of Team Glock and they teach how to clean guns, how to handle guns. They'll go over the safety rules again and they'll teach you general firearms information. Okay, that's great. Kai, thanks for being here with us today. It's thanks. been a pleasure, yeah. an absolute pleasure. The team has made a lot of progress today and is on track to complete, making over this Operation Homefront provided condo before the Lunts return. Crew and volunteers are working hard on the downstairs, upstairs, and backyard. Hey folks, we're just getting started. There's a lot more to be done. Check out part two of Designing Space's Military Makeover brought to you by Nissan North America. If you really care, then be there. Hoorah! Families across this nation are turning to, to, to oh God. <laughs> For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.